Welcome to prime time, bitch. Oh, hello, everybody. I see that the uh, last video there got quite a few more views than I expected. Look at that. 2K views. Last one before that was Earthrise Skylix 52. Jeez, that's quite a difference. And we're up to almost 100 subscribers now as well. So tell your pals about the channel, eh? Tell your friends, tell your dad. Tell your dad to go and watch this, eh? Go and tell your dad right now. Tell your dad to watch a video, subscribe, like it. Uh, it would help me out a lot. Thank you. So, Angelo Gabriel Badao asked if I could do a top 10 worst of 2023. Well, it's actually been a very good year for Transformers, in my opinion. And there's only one, one little nugget that I regret buying. It's this stupid Gamer Edition Bumblebee. Look at this horrible wee fella. You just put, look, that comes off. You pull that, that comes off. You pull this. I'm not even trying. Look, oh, that comes off. Look, that comes off. Rubbish. What is this thing? If you want to see me talk more about it, go and have a check on my 40th episode special I did in all the Gamer Edition guys. Well, we'll get on with the next episode now, won't we? I'll put it on now, okay? Keep watching and then I'll just start. Uh, Alright, thanks again for subscribing guys Remember, tell your dad Tell your dad about the channel Tell your dad Thanks, bye now So, you all know who this fella is Obviously, it's Mechanical Alliance Dark Commander What? Optimus Prime? Nah mate, never heard of him This is a totally different And most importantly A legally distinct character Any confusion with this Autobot leader you speak of is on you, sir. You must need glasses, you mad plum. <laughs> right, hopefully the authorities have clicked off by now. Would you just look at this stunningly beautiful example of intellectual property theft? This, my friends, is a bootleg of Studio Series 38 Bumblebee Optimus Prime, and he's amazing. This figure had become a bit of a grail in my collecting journey after getting back into the franchise and falling in love with the Bumblebee movie designs I was keen to pick up the official release of Bumblebee Optimus until I saw those aftermarket prices Jesus, is this made by Robocent or something? At those prices I'd want Prime to also be able to do my laundry hoover the floors or be able to mine cryptocurrency. Dumpit. Usually, I stay away from knockoffs and bootlegs as I don't like supporting filthy pirates. Well, unless they're filthy hot lesbian pirates. On this occasion, however, when the official figure is long gone and obtaining it becomes harder than locating the true Ark of the Covenant, knockoffs become the only affordable option. So am I happy that I've sullied my pristine collection with a cheap forgery? My god, yes. I think Dark Commander might just be my favourite Optimus that I own. Just look at this robot mode. It is so effortlessly cool. This is what Optimus should have looked like in live action from the start. He really reminds me of the chunky aesthetic of the G1 toy, but modernised and brought to life in intricate detail. This is exactly what I always imagined Optimus would look like in the real world, and it's such a delight to see him realised so perfectly in toy form. Whereas the Optimus from the Michael Bay movies looked like some sort of cold, lithe, mechanical murder ninja designed by a sociopathic 12-year-old off their tits on monster energy juice. Bumblebee Optimus is chunky in all the right places. My boy is thick. I love Prime's torso. The slightly opened angled tit windows showing hidden detail beneath are just delightful. Plus they're made from die-cast metal, which really gives Dark Commander a real premium feel, despite costing less than a pack of 20 snouts. Like teen girls in the 1990s with Peter Andre, I could spend hours just staring at Prime's tummy. Look at all this mechanical detail. 
This is usually where you'd find the truck grill on a prime. Not here though. This redesign succeeds in capturing the look of the traditional Autobot leader, whilst throwing a unique mechanistic spin on Prime's rippling abs. It's truly excellent. Prime's head sculpt effortlessly gives off that heroic and noble vibe it should. I love all the wee gravelies picked out in the sculpt. He even has the classic four screw holes on the back of his head. Amazing attention to detail. You can really tell this Optimus was designed by someone with a passion for the franchise and not encanted by an overworked CGI artist from Michael Bay's disturbed, demonic and perverted imagination. The only downside to Prime's robot mode is lack of articulation. Don't get me wrong, Prime can still pull off plenty of cool action poses, but he's definitely been bested by more recent figures, like the mainline Rise of the Beasts Prime. I also wish Prime's head had a little more vertical movement, and these flappy shoulder bits tend to get in the way sometimes. The kibble on the back of Prime's forearms is also a bit excessive, but honestly, I don't mind it too much. Out of the box, Prime's elbows were as loose as your mum at an all-male strip club on a hen weekend in Tenerife. The poor fella couldn't even hold up his chunky ion cannon. This wee smasher impressed me so much though, I actually decided to fix it. A couple of drops of super glue later, and my boy is strong enough to rip off your cock at the root on the first tug. Great stuff. Transformation on Optimus is a bit of a complicated affair. You'd really need to extend these tip windows out as far as possible, so have enough clearance to rotate his upper torso. Also make sure you have Prime's hands like this, or the front of the cab won't tab in. There's a tab of terror to watch out for when going back to robot mode. This panel on the roof of the cab is murder to move. I tried using Prime's ion cannon to pry it open, and I snapped off the tip. Ugh, my bad. Guess it's battle damage now. Just use a butter knife or anything that would work as a basic prison shiv. When you're done transforming, you're left with my absolute favourite Prime alt mode of all time. This is just wonderful. The cab is so imposing and well proportioned. Look at the paint on here as well. There's so many little details picked out, like this wee ladder in the side of the cab. For once, Prime's legs also transform instead of just lying flat like a dog dragging its willy across a carpet. The back of the truck is just awesome. It's such a clever idea to use the bulk of Prime's legs to make up this grill on the rear of the cab. That's what you should have done, Studio Series 102. This is an alt mode truly befitting of Optimus Prime. If there was ever to be a live action remake of the 1986 movie, this is a truck I would want to see Optimus transform into when he comes off the shuttle at Autobot City. I can imagine him just ploughing through all the Decepticons, Stan Bush blaring away in the background before taking off and transforming in mid-air into his awesome robot mode, blasting Decepticons on his way back to the ground. Not to say a live-action remake of the 86 movie would be a good idea. Just look at what Disney did to Pinocchio. The best bit in the original was where he was drinking beers and smoking snout. You can't replace that with bloody root beer, you monsters. Sometimes, great movies from the past should be left as they are. They'll never live up to what you've created in your imagination. Plus, they definitely turn Hot Rod into an independent, strong, vegan lesbian who identifies as they, them, and wants to bring down the patriarchy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. Anyway, I'm sure this Prime has plenty more stories to tell, and I can't wait for the next time we see him in live action. So would I recommend Mechanical Alliance Dark Commander? Oh my word, yes. The whole aesthetic of this wee smasher reminds me of the early issues of the Marvel comic where the art was based off the toys and not the cartoon. This Prime is truly a modern interpretation of the classic G1 toy, but with all the advancements 40 years of engineering experience has brought. Buy this. Buy this and a Nemesis Prime repaint. 
buy this, a Nemesis Prime and a Shutter Glass repaint. It's bloody awesome. Wait, is that someone at the door? Oh no, it's the Hasbro police. Damn you, you beautiful, illegal bastard, Dark Commander. Right, I'm off out the country for a few days. You guys have a great night. Catch you later. Like, subscribe, tell your dad.